Hey YouTube, Cyber Aquarius here bringing you guys an overview of the MaxSpec R420R LED lighting system also known as the MaxSpec Razor. Now this video is not part of my reef series. I'll have the next video in that series out to you guys as soon as possible. But I just wanted anyone that was looking for information on the MaxSpec to be able to find it by the title of this video. Alright, the MaxSpec is available in three different versions. It comes in a 60 watt nano version, 120 watt version, and a 160 watt version. And all three versions are available in three different spectrums. Got the box here, and I want to show you guys that you can get this fixture in an 8000K spectrum, which would be perfect for aquatic plants. So guys, this fixture isn't limited to reef aquariums. And it also comes in a 10,000K and a 16,000K version. And I have the 16,000K, 120 watt on this aquarium. And I just wanna go ahead and show you guys all of the features of this model and point out some things that uh, I learned after I opened the box and started looking at it and using it. Well, right away I noticed um, that the fixture is not black. Now the box, as well as a lot of pictures on the internet, make it appear as if the fixture is black, but it's not. You see that it's uh, a raw aluminum. So this isn't plastic. This whole housing is aluminum, which serves as a heat sink for the LEDs. And you see that the fixture has all these fins for air to pass through the fixture from underneath to top and from top to bottom keeping the fixture extremely cool but it also comes with a cooling fan so in the event that the LEDs did start to become warm the fan would turn on but in a lot of the reviews I've read some people say that the fan never even turns on so apparently the the design of the housing does a fantastic job at keeping it cool and the fixture is extremely thin it's a mere 0.9 inches thick the, you know, given it the, the name the Razor. It comes with mounting legs for your aquarium and all, as well as the suspension hardware to hang it from a canopy or from your ceiling. Now the Razor is fully programmable for simulating a sunrise and sunset effect. This is the panel here to program the fixture. I'm not going to run through everything with just one hand but you see you can set the time and program it. What you would do, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of it, but you go down to program, push the button in, and this is the program that I've set. It has six set points. That number in black, that's the first set point for the fixture to come on at 2.30, and it has the two channels, channel A and B. Now, one really cool thing about the set points the set points will ramp up or down to the next set point. And what that means is this going to be a gradual transition to the next set point. It's not going to be an immediate change from let's say 10% to 20%. There's going to be a gradual change from one set point to the next, whether it be ramping up or ramping down. So you'll never even notice the lights getting brighter or dimmer. Now the MaxSpec utilizes the latest in LED technology. It uses high performance, high intensity Cree X-Lamp, XTE, and XPE LED chips with 90 degree optics. And these LEDs produce more than enough par for even, even the most demanding corals out there. Um, now guys, I'm gonna try to put the par uh, charts for the 120 watt and the 160 watt version into the video right now. All right, well guys, you can see that the PAR ratings for both fixtures are more than enough to grow any type of coral that you choose. And for those of you that don't know what PAR is, PAR stands for Photosynthetic Active Radiation. And basically, that's the, uh, the energy required to drive photosynthesis. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that technology or te technical terms right now, but just know that this light is more than powerful enough to grow any kind of corals that you choose. All right, well, uh, the 
the 16,000K, I'm going to go over the, the LED arrangement that the 16,000K has. The 8,000K and the 10,000K are going to have a different LED arrangement, but the spectrum of light for each fixture is going to be more than adequate at growing whatever it's intended for. Um, now the 16,000K utilizes two 3,000K warm white LEDs which will bring out the reds and the fish and the corals. It also utilizes two 8,000K cool white, three blues at 465 nanometers to 485 nanometers, four royal blues from 450 nanometers to 465 nanometers, and two super from 410 to 420 nanometers. Basically, guys, what that means is there's enough LEDs uh, casting different spectrums to provide for uh, better coral growth and bring out more color in the fish and corals. Um, all right, guys, I want to show you one thing also about uh, the power supply. This, this comes with a power supply module, and I didn't want to just set it here on the bottom of my cabinet because... I didn't want to limit myself for any future upgrades. It has mounting brackets on the top and bottom, and I just mounted it on the back of my cabinet. And it has an on off switch on the front side with a little LED light to let you know that the unit's powered on. Um, but I kept it here in the back of the cabinet. I figured it'd prevent it from getting wet should there be a, a leak of some kind. And it opened up all this room. For, for me to be able to use a doser or you know for storage or anything else that I want but guys I'll do a fill, full review on the max spec razor after uh, it's been on the system for some time to determine uh, its efficiency at growing corals but as always I appreciate everybody watching the videos uh, thank you for watching this video please comment rate and subscribe until the next time, guys, this is Cyber Aquarius saying thank you and have a good one.